Knock, knock. Hmm? You again? I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Say that again? Uh, here am I, there are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no! I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. That's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent. Hey, Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? I know which words I'll use to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. I may not be good at waxing eloquent, but I've got this. What? Ear wax? A prompter, the poet, will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for goal. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. But first, let me give you a few more hints from father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. just happened? Oh, I must have been unconscious. Oh, no wonder with the air in here. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh? Hmm? Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? Realizing that is part of knowing me. Just like living in constant fear of grievous bodily harm. <laughs> exactly. Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurants do you have in mind? And is it clean? It's an excellent establishment. Reputable location, fantastic view, and the cuisine is exquisite. Exquisite cuisine? What are they serving? Mud roast? Well, it's most certainly not platypus. No platypus. You're quite sure? Oh, yes. They've got everything except for platypus. All right. Why not? At this point, everything sounds fine to me, just as long as it gets me out of this dive. Go ahead, then. Ask me out. While well, I'm waiting. Wait here. I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman.
What have you got this time? Well, what do you think? This is an official invitation to a romantic dinner. Oh, really? Hmm. This invitation actually meets all the rules of etiquette. Bravo, Rufus. Apparently, I was completely wrong about you. Wait for me later in the old town, all right? I'm looking forward to being able to lay aside a few more prejudices against you and Deponia. Lay aside certainly sounds great. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Why didn't she show up? Huh. I might have guessed that Dad doesn't know the first thing about women. With his terrific tips, it's a miracle that I exist at all. Romance and flowers, my ass. I'm gonna let him have it. Dad? What's been going on here? Flowers? Champagne? That louse! If this is what it looks like, the old philanderer might as well ooh, start digging the grave for his burial at sea. Right. What's this? I need a radio. Why would the old fart need a radio? Unless... Whoa! I don't believe it! First he steals my date, and then my brilliant idea with the prompter! That miserable old dirtbag! That louse! If that doesn't beat all. Stealing my date from right under my nose. Your own son. Uh, excuse me? You're Rufus's father. He seems to think that. But I'm not. That is totally... Oh. I took him in when I was still mayor of Kuvak. We found him in the garbage. Kicking and screaming. He's a trash baby. That isn't true! Examine your feelings, Rufus. I am not your father. Now you tell me? Have you no decency? Huh? Look who's talking. Oh, you don't understand. This guy has... Has what? Standing? Style? A clean suit. You see, unlike you, the captain knows how to treat a lady. But... You heard the lady. Do I really need to call an attendant and have you removed by force, kicking and screaming, just like the trash baby that you are? Really? I'll get you for this. Oh, has the wind changed? Something smells a bit off. Just an insignificant little breeze, dear, that's all. I... I, I... All right, so I farted. But that doesn't make him better than me. I am so gonna rain on his parade. I will teach him a lesson so tough that it was dropped from the curriculum of the School of Hard Knocks. Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. Ah, uh, this bug is tickling me. Don't worry. As long as you've washed your ear, it's hopefully not going to take it for a buggy bathroom. Ah, oh, yeah, I see. I really need to borrow your radio. Never. Oh, come on. From one bard to another. I am a bard. You, however... Ought to be barred. <laughs> but no. See you later. Right. Leave me alone. Crane. Crane. What is it? I found something. One last. No. Little. Don't say it. Memo.
I need a radio. Are you dictating these memos to him? Don't change the subject. Just give me the radio. Why do you have to do this anyway? I won't say. Do I have to get a memo that says I need secrets? Oh, stock market news. Oh, come on, Crane. Hey, you know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh, yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? Shh, it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem. In your honor. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. <clears throat> go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You're cuter than a batty wuss. <laughs> You look just like a platypus? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you will find a way. And I should know. The others are a part of me, after all. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, but you have a real backbone, and you aren't such a sissy. That's true. Oh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Huh? What the? Everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. I'll have the same again. Why, hello, doll. Come here often? <coughs> what did you say? <coughs> Why, hello, doll. Come here often? Is that supposed to be funny? I... but... First, you drag me off. And then you try to be cute? Why hasn't it occurred to you that I might be well and truly pissed off? Uh, well, why? Hello, doll. Come here often. Whoa! No brawling in my bar. This may be the favorite hangout of the lowest scum in town, but some rules still apply, you know. He started it. I haven't done a thing. Yeah, he's got a point. Running around like an idiot ain't a crime. Hey! But maybe being an idiot is. I said, hey! You're lucky I don't hit women. Go ahead and try. Maybe I'll start by giving you a good spanking. If you fancy a broken jaw, be my guest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here in the floating black market, we settle our differences in a civilized manner. There is only one way to get you two to quit your bickering. Platypus Pataka. <laughs> Bring it!
Bring it on!